Awesome. And being around my black side of the family, I do see the difference in, for lack of better words, how a black mother raises their daughters that grows in a single home versus a Hispanic woman that raises. Yeah, let, yeah, let me let me let me let me step in front of this bullet for you right now, because there are all kind of bullets coming at you right. As soon as you said that, different. Here's what it comes down to. And Hello. Hey, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Man, my wind is high. How old are you? 29. I'll be 30 in June. So what are we talking about? Um, well, I joined your live later, but um, I just wanted to give, a, from a women's perspective, um, in agreement with you, like maybe, like I heard the other young lady saying, a lot of women find your um, your delivery to be harsh. And it's mm -hmm. just saw, I saw you on Shade Room. And literally, I cannot go into a room where there's not, like, if I meet up with my friends, if I meet up with my sisters, your name comes up. And so I'm like, oh, God God damn. <laughs> so it's been funny. I have four children, and I'm happily married. Mm -hmm. And my husband and I sit and listen to you. And, uh, you know, we la most of it's laughter. I think the, mm -hmm. the whole, uh, you have three lives, and you're on live, you're one. I think that was, like, maybe a week or so ago. We were in tears <laughs> laughing. <laughs> um, I've been with my husband since I was 21. And from a woman's perspective, ladies, I just want to say, he's not lying to you. And I sit and I ask my my husband long before even hearing about you, very gruesome and personal, personal questions. And I'm very honest with myself about what I need to change about myself or what do you like mm -hmm. about this? And so listening to you, I'm like, maybe I just think like a guy or is Kevin just not all that wrong and more right? But it's women don't want to hear a man telling them and uh growing up with a Puerto Rican Dominican mom and then being around and then my father's black but then being around my black side of the family I do see the difference in for lack of better words how a black mother raises their daughters that grows in a single home versus a Hispanic woman that raises yeah, let, yeah, let me child. let me let me let me step in front of this bullet for you right now because there are all kind of bullets coming at you, right? And as soon as you said that, different. Here's what it comes down to, and I don't blame black women for this. No, and I don't. I don't blame I'm black women. Black. I, I don't. I, I. When you don't, it is. It's. We're not used to seeing black men in a position of respect, responsibility, and being right. So the things that I say are controversial, more so because I'm a black man. Um, versus if they were, like some of the things if I were Dr. Phil or Joe Rogan or somebody else would be more easily acceptable than coming from me. And I can't change that. Mm -hmm. But the fact of the matter is we need to be able to change that because it needs to become more commonplace to where our women can see our men on the same level as they see anybody else. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I take a lot of stuff. I don't, yeah. I know my name is everywhere now. Have um, you, sorry to cut you off. Have you ever considered, I heard you, I think just tell another lady, you purposely have the delivery that you have. Like you want, you want to step on some toes. You, that it, like it's necessary. It's, it's, it's necessary at times. It's necessary. At, I, I don't do anything without a reason. So I'm never just doing stuff to be provocative or it, right. it's always thought out. So, um, most people don't recognize that if I'm doing something, just, just give me a second, I'll get there. Uh, if you watch my content, sometimes it may seem like I'm all over the place. You're like, what the hell is he talking about? And next thing you know, 13 minutes later, I tie all the points together. Uh -huh. uh, my ultimate point is to get women to understand where the very men that they want are coming from and get men to understand that just like we got bad information, right. women got bad information too. And in order to get anywhere, we're both going to have to give each other a certain amount of grace and mercy and good faith because we're building this thing while we're flying it and we're all broken. And mm. good faith is more important than anything else. And if, if both men and women in our community can start looking at each other with, as human beings with a fundamental respect, like every other group of people, we're, we're far more willing to give each other a chance versus just writing each other off. So, 
that and selflessness is the word that I would use. Like if both of us are selfless with each other, then you have no, nothing but room to win. He's doing everything for you and you're doing everything for him. And that's what's lacking heavily I'll, in our, I would, heavily, I would, I would take, I would take, and that's, and, and that's like, uh, that's a 201 or a 301 class. I'm just taking one, I'm taking English one-on-one right now. Oh, okay. Simple respect. Can can you get respect from men and can you smile at brothers? Okay, we got history one on one, English one on one, science for non majors, just the basics. Let's just the basics. We can get to our coursework and our and our degree plan after we get the basics out of the way because we didn't get it and there's no way for adults to get that. Um, and oh. I, I'm not willing to I'm not willing to write off an entire group because we didn't get it where we should have got it right no i agree and i think there's a huge even talking to my friends and like i said i was just out having drinks with my sisters and the men and the women brought your name up and i was like (laughs) just saw you maybe the end of march on um on shade room and then i saw Mm. you more in april and i was like okay Mm. follow him and see what he's talking about and so we've enjoyed it but then i hear even my own sisters they didn't like the delivery, but when they, I started breaking it down, what you're really saying, I'm like, you have to get your, it's stinging because he's stepping on your toes. He's, t- he's talking about you, like mm-hmm. what you're saying to the other person. But, but a lot of times women think they want marriage. They think they want the relationship, but really you want a wedding. Mm-hmm. You want a person that's going to take care of you, but you don't really want him telling you anything. You don't want him mm-hmm. to tell you what to do. You don't want him really as a part of your life. I've even had friends joke and say, I want the husband, but get me a separate house because... Oh, I had somebody I was going to bring on the show for that. And it's a very... It was a... I, I did a... What was it? Carrie Hilson? Um, that she was in the, in the news recently talking about. I could be married and live separately. That's and you know what? Look, um, I'm not foolish enough to believe that we're going to go back to Mayberry RFD. They're going to be different kinds of relationships. Yeah, but so, at the end of at the end of the day, we got to be together in some form. So it's yeah. funny that you see me everywhere. That's crazy. <laughs> well, thank yeah, you for watching. I, I appreciate we, it. I didn't know who you were. Go ahead. Huh? Go ahead. I was I was saying thank you for watching. I, oh, I yeah. was about to to move yeah. out. Though. Alrighty. Thank you. Bye bye. Thanks. Oh my. So.